This is my setup tonight. Jordan's out at the cinema to see Dune and I have a diptyque candle on. Look at these flowers, these roses I got. And then I just did this pixie vitamin C sheet mask and it felt amazing. Like it just felt so cooling. And I have this little vitamin spray as well. And then this little tatcha. I started, I've got a new tub of this. I've been saving it to finish my other stuff. But honestly, this is the best moisturizer in the world ever. And I'm just having a little tiny glass of wine and I'm gonna watch a little something, I think. I'm on my phone at the moment, but I think I will watch a little something. As part of my extra cozy night in, I am also going to make the bed. <laughs> I did three loads of washing this today. Three. Three. And I feel very triumphant. Well, I did until I got up the stairs. I literally tipped it all on the bed and I was like, oh wait, <laughs> now I actually have to put it away, which is the worst job. Folding and putting away. It sucks. It's the worst. Anyway, this is what I've got to deal with. It's an absolute lump on the bed. Uh, Manny, I need to change this bed. You're so sweet. Do not clean sheets, the Manny man? Dahlia has been <laughs> crazy today. I feel like she's just like gone to nursery and realized that she can like misbehave or like she realized like she can get up to no good. She's so funny. Susie came round and I think because Susie and I were chatting so long, like Dahlia's a bit like, and feel like she like really upped everything just because I feel like she knew that she wasn't my didn't have my full attention but she's going crazy me and Susie were laughing all afternoon just how funny she was she was just I don't even can't even explain it she was just like doing things to make us laugh as well and we were just like what are you like you guys I also have fresh pajamas like See when everything lines up. I know I'm so lame right now, but see when everything lines up, like perfect night would be fresh sheets, fresh pajamas, as in just come out of the dryer, shower into bed. Oh my God, that would be the dream. And a sheet mask. That was, that really helped. That really helped. A big pile of washing just fell over. <laughs> just a tiny person's sock in my bed. If you're wondering why, George doesn't have anything on his bedside table is because Dahlia walks in here when I'm like getting ready or whatever she walks in here and she's obsessed with taking anything that's on top of that like books his airpods this is the best part it's my heated pad it's so good it's better than an electric blanket because it's just this one bit and when you get too warm you just check it out I always get too warm with an electric blanket and then the rare beauty spray that I'm obsessed with. I'm back in the room of doom. Not really, I love this room. It's just taking me forever to do it. Um, Dallas has just gone down for her nap. It's Mother's Day today, so George was working and Dallas and I just went for a walk along the beach and then we went for pancakes and it was amazing. So this week I've had the worst cold, like honestly, it floored me. It was only when I took um, a whole day to like just spend the whole day in bed, like not even, wasn't even watching anything or anything. I was fully out of it. In fact, I think the door went like three times, like the postman and other stuff. And I didn't even hear it. Like I was so out of it. Um, and Jordan had a little bit of a bug as well. So we've both just been like, oh my God. Um, there's my crazy hair again. So just, proper catch up mode but I think my handyman is back from Barbados this coming week so I'm gonna get him to finish the wallpaper he did just say like if you get stuck leave it for me and I have got stuck I just cannot find any reference online of like what people do it's mainly around the fireplace trying to get in this little bit I've done it to like the best of my ability but I want him to like I don't want to keep doing around the room um because once I get past the window, like it's gonna be so easy to do, like that's the easiest bit. So these are all the little bobbins. So that's like a little, it's like a picture rail that's going up um, at the top of the wallpaper. So it goes along here. Um, and then I'm gonna get some cornicing for here as well. I'll need to see if Graham can put that up. So I'm just gonna paint this really quickly so it's all done for him. Morning, you guys. It is Monday. I... 
I'm trying to get ready. I mean, not trying. I am getting ready. I have a shoot day with Lottie today and I'm feeling good about it. I'm quite excited actually. Although it's such a gloomy day shooting when it's like this. Actually, sometimes it's okay. In overcast days, it's actually easier to work with than sunshine. But if it could just be a little bit brighter, that would be ideal. <laughs> and I came on to tell you a story that's actually quite funny. So I have been having a nightmare with my brows. I loved my brow girl in Glasgow. She was so amazing. I wanted to find a place down here that was good and that was local so i found one on google five star reviews i turned up and the girl was super nice i'd done a patch test a couple of days before and i felt like that was enough i've done i've done my research and that is good enough for me and she was like oh i never really get anyone else to do my brows she was like i had them done the other day actually and the girl gave me sharpie brows i was like hang on we're on the same page here I was like, ah, yeah, I don't really like big brows any either. So she does my brows, all good, felt, felt fine, we were chatting. And then she shows me the mirror at the end. Holy shit, you guys. I mean, I don't have a poker face, so I don't actually know what I look like, but I'm sure I was shocked. Uh, they were Sharpie brows. Like, the, they were like thick black things. I've never seen anything like it. I honestly have no idea how she did it. And I was like, wow, perfect, thank you. I stood up. I feel like she couldn't really look me in the eye. She was quite quiet. And then I was like, oh, so how do I pay? And she was like, oh, just, um, just pay me, sort of thing. I managed to like hold it together. And the worst bit is, I was like, thank you. It feels so good to have my brows done again. And then I tipped her. I literally tipped her. <laughs> um, so I just can't believe it. So I went home and I was like, I ran in the front door and Dord was giving Dal's dinner. And I was like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, Dord, I was like, Dord. Jordan, Jordan, he's like, what, what? But I was kind of laughing, so it wasn't like super panicking. But he, I was like this, and he was like, what, what? I took my hand away, and he was like, oh, no. He was like, what have you done? And I was like, I have not done anything. And he's like, why did you get them dark like that? And I was like, I always get my brows tinted, and it's never gone wrong. It's never ever gone wrong. I do them myself a few, like once a week, or like a couple times a month, I will do them myself. And it's never gone wrong and I leave them on for ages. So I don't know what she did. She must have had like industrial strength brow tint. It was horrendous. And I was like this. Joan's got a video because that was just like the, the comedy of it. Because I was kind of laughing. I was like shocked. I was like in shock. Uh, and Dows was laughing. She was in her high chair eating a dinner just laughing at me. And there's a video where Dow was laughing. George's filming it and he just passed me out. And like frozen then I just ran upstairs and I was like scrubbing at them it was bad you guys it was bad but anyway scrubbed 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 and scrubbed them and they look okay I'm trying to find an outfit to wear today for the shoot and everything I put on is hideous ew one thing I always seem to struggle with is lunches I just never ever know what to eat I think I get stressed because I feel like I need to be eating more protein and I don't love eating meat. So I get overwhelmed about like plant protein and that sort of thing. So then the other day, I saw that girl on TikTok that's like, fuck a salad or whatever. And I thought, yeah, you're right. And she does like adult Lunchables. And I was like, that's what I'm going to do. And it's pretty much what I would make Dahlia anyway. These are amazing. I literally love these. Yeah, so I pretty much make a lunch like this, or a kid's version of this for Dows every day. So, easy peasy. Here it is. Obviously not great if you don't like foods touching, but thankfully I have no qualms about that. I've got like a little hummus, um, some peas, some like a little labney kind of dip, tomatoes. I actually did put some chicken in there, so there's extra protein. And then I did like the sort of deviled egg sort of thing, and then spring onions, and my pretzels, and strawberries, so. Very good mix, I would say. Do you want a little wellness haul? I got some chia seeds, a big, this is a big packet. <laughs> and then I got some hemp seeds. I just got bought chia seeds for a chia pudding. Dallas loves chia pudding. I love chia pudding. It's a great all-rounder. Good source of protein. And then hemp seeds, which I'm like on the fence about. Amazing source of protein for a, considering they're literally a seed. And then some vanilla matcha. 
trying to um and then i got some more i don't even know how to say this an isotol an isotol it's for pcos um just a supplement that helps i take it um i've been taking it for years but i've not taken it while i've been pregnant and breastfeeding so i haven't had it in a long time but it really helped you know when matt healy oh there's a man on the table it should be manny you know in the 1975 song oh my god i don't even know what song it is but he goes spending money on seeds and beans online that's me that is me <laughs> so i'm just making a little snack plate lottie and i filmed the job that i had to do there and it went really well i had to wash my hair again though so i'm just leaving it to air dry because that's it here it is i got this hummus the ramona's one or someone talk about it and they said it was really good and oh my god it actually is it's like kind of whipped so i'm just having that with some little pretzels and i'm gonna sprinkle on some hemp seeds I'm trying to eat more protein, so that's what I'm doing in my life. Oh my god. Crunchy. Fine. Willing to put up with it for protein. I just want to eat a little bit better. That's all. These are my Mother's Day flowers from Geordie. Well, Dal's. And um, George just like bought them himself and like put together a bouquet and like wrapped it in brown paper and honestly it was so nice. He was like, I don't really know any florists down here so I just had to do it myself and I was like, bless you. And then he, so I like unwrapped them, they're in their kitchen, but this is a hyacinth, the purple one. Mmm, this, it freaking Thanks. Like it smells so strongly. Me and John keep walking into the kitchen. We're like, oh my god, it smells like an old lady's like kind of flowery perfume. It's a lot. It's a lot. Can you believe I painted all of the bobbins during that time as well? Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Definitely got seeds in my teeth now. So I've done a couple orders recently. Uh, the first is a Cezanne order and I wanted these trousers from Cezanne for so long. They sold out first time and I had so many notifications on. In fact, when they came back in stock, I got like 17 emails because I'd signed up for notifications so many times. But I've done the stupidest thing. I'm so annoyed with myself. I've bought the wrong size. They did say, and actually someone told me to size up because these ones run small. And even on the website, on Suzanne, it tells you like whether you should get your usual size, size below, size up sort of thing, right? It said to size up. And did I? No, I didn't. I absolutely didn't. Well, I did. That's a lie. So I always think that Suzanne runs quite large. They're quite like, I always find I need to size down anyway. So when I sized up, I only went up to like my sort of normal size. Anyway, here's the trousers. You guys, they fit, but it's not a good, it's not a nice fit. It's not, a, I want these to kind of be a bit roomy. The only thing that's kind of saving me, like they're out of stock already, of course they are. So I can't even get another size. And then I bought these trousers from Yoke. And yeah, love these. I've worn them quite a lot already. They're cords, sort of like simple floral. Um, and I just imagined them with like a little blue or red jumper or cardi um, a pair of like Mary Janes, beret maybe. So I've been wearing them with this little Cezanne cardigan um, and sort of like popping this under my bra, wearing it like a bit cropped. And then this is one of my favourite finds recently. You may have already seen it on TikTok or Instagram if you follow me there. It's a 70 and mochi quilted denim jacket i saw it their press day i don't know when it could have been honestly it could have been november last year but was it i don't know i honestly don't know anyway i found up with 25 percent off and i snapped it up so i wore this yesterday and i was like oh this is such oh i've got an itchy ear <laughs> ah why why and uh yeah so i wore this yesterday and i was like this is actually such a me outfit i wish i had a little red jumper to go with it um red is the color of the moment uh and i got a size small which i think is a good like it's a good fit it fits over like jumpers 
and is boxy enough. I instantly loved this outfit. I was like, yeah, that's the one. I mean, isn't this just me? <laughs> this is so me. <laughs> a brand called Age of... <laughs> My ear is still so itchy. A brand... What does that mean? Is that a sign of money? Or a sign of madness? It means something, doesn't it? I don't know. Anyway, so a brand sent me these adorable Mary Janes and they sent Dahlia a pair as well. Hers are like more rounded. I almost cried when I saw them. So I was wearing this outfit, I put it on a, like a little reel. Um, but I just felt like if I was wearing a red cardigan, it would have been so cute. So I'm gonna try hunt one down. But this is what I was wearing. Well, this is what I styled yesterday and I loved it. I was trying to see if this little domino jumper worked with these uh, trousers, but it's a bit random, unfortunately. And then I also got from the Cezanne team, they sent me like a Mother's Day gift it was incredible and they sent the yellow clawed bag i don't even think this is online yet because a few people asked me where i got it but it's not perfect like i literally love it i've got the blue one and i did want another one because i just think they're like the best bags and they just make any outfit fun just throwing this on how cute would this be oh, look at this little well, this little jacket mm, it's so springy i love it oh it just makes me excited if only the weather would get its act together. I was thinking the other day, I have a theory, I have a theory. I actually don't mind rain uh, or like gloomy weather as long as like every second day is sunny. Like I don't, as long as it's not like two consecutive rainy days, it'd be good because like then you get like a day off. I don't know, in my head it made sense. Just to show you my dressing room, right? So I've got all these random boxes, like mostly full of shoes. I've got a rail of like stuff that I more like wear daily uh, here and then a mirror and um, down on the floor you don't need to see that and then let me show you so we've got this whole big wall of uh, wardrobes here so it's quite handy I've got like obviously a lot of stuff in there I've got sort of like blouses and knitwear um, on a rail and then this is like more like it's meant to be folded and wear and then bags and then jeans skirts trousers and more like knitwear perfume and shoes at the bottom and then this one this one is dresses and coats and then at the bottom it's like more storage for bags and shoes and stuff so it's pretty handy and i do love it uh, we've also got some storage up at the top there and then George's got this end one. Over on this wall, it's like not really being used because I don't really need another rail. I need probably, probably not even drawers because I've got bed, uh, drawers in the bedroom, but maybe some drawers and maybe like more shoe storage because I don't really have anywhere to put my shoes. I was thinking about getting just like quickly getting like some Pax wardrobes or like the equivalent, like a maybe like more budget friendly, I don't know, something maybe like second hand or something just to like keep here for now mainly shoe storage i think i'd love to have them all displayed I'm tempted to get like even like an ikea bookcase or something just to put all my shoes in anyone have any ideas i would love to just get built-ins but i feel like we'd need to do redo the inside of these while we're getting it done just to set, just to have it all the same i don't know that's the thing with like renovating and like home projects they just grow arms and legs you're like well if i'm doing that side may as well do that side or if i'm doing you know this i may as well get the floors done the walls done the ceiling done and all that and um, does just grow arms and legs unfortunately but it is what it is i am obsessed i keep talking about it but the scent of this rare beauty like home mist or i think it's hair, body and hair fragrance <laughs> i thought it was for home i mean spritz it on my bedding it is the and like my clothes my pajamas everything like i love this i think it smells incredible and i have had like such a journey with my sense of smell oh is that geordie don't know what i like anymore i think it stems from losing my sense of smell getting it back but not the same and then pregnancy and i just don't know what i like anymore so if anyone knows what this smells like and would be a nice perfume i used to really like glossier you but i've not had it in a while and i don't know if i'd still like it and it's too risky for me to buy all perfumes because the perfumes that I used to love don't smell the same to me anymore, like Mojave Ghost by Byredo and what else? I just don't really wear perfume anymore, but I would love to. The only thing I can really get on board with is rose scent, so I constantly wear rose scent. So I saw someone on TikTok say that this smells like 
uh, by Rado Bow to Freak, but to me, from memory, I used to avoid, wear Bow to Freak, but it, this this doesn't smell like that to me. It, what I remember of it anyway. This is Jordy's proud new purchase. You're holding it like, you know that meme of the old guy that entered the onions that he grew into competition? Oh yeah. He's holding you do it. Well? I think he came first, it was massive. That's good. So you're saying I would come first in a cat memo board competition? Yeah. Alright. George bought this today. It's for the shed. For the shed. It's for all my memories. <laughs> Memos. Memories. There's not much space. Yeah. But I like cats. I go good. Like, look, like mouse. <laughs> Do you care? Do you? No. I think she likes it. She looks a bit jealous, to be honest. <laughs> wow, feisty. I need, I need a chalk pen. <laughs> what a find. Glad it's going out in the shed. <laughs> Mm, I'll be honest. The thing is, it suits this house. Kind of does. But it's not. Kind of does suit it, this house. It doesn't suit us. It suits you. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it. Cats and flowers. There we go. Cats. It'd probably look better up on that wall. Because then we could write our little things like what Dahlia's got on and. Feed, feed the baby. Feed the baby, feed the cats. I got a new hair mask, this Amika Soul Food. I saw someone on TikTok say it was good. So I'm really excited to, to use it, because uh, usually what I do is like I oil my hair. I use this um, Jonathan Van Ness one, but the rosemary oil ones from Amazon are also really good. And I just massage it in, and honestly it's done so much my hair. Like I feel like my hair is so much more thicker, or maybe it's like the density, but honestly oiling my scalp, even just for like 15 minutes before a shower, it's a life changer, <laughs> life saver, a game, cha uh, game changer is what I mean. I just got this cardigan for Dows from Vintage, this is like a Zara one, because I'm going to learn how to do like the name embroidery. I saw a TikTok on it and I thought, I'm gonna learn. So this person, so I'm gonna do it in the back, just Dahlia along there. So I saw someone like sort of trace onto here, stick that on and then use, and then they poked holes in it to make it easier to stitch. And then they use like a little, something like this to do a chain stitch. So I'm gonna try and do that. Cause I just feel like that'd be so cute and all her little jumpers, just like a nice personalized thing. So I'm gonna try it and let you know how I get on with it. Wish me luck.